Google is one of the best companies in the AI and data space. Uh, what can you tell us about Google's approach to AI and data and what can we learn from it? So I have to caveat this response by saying I, I left in uh, 2017, so it's a little bit out of date now. But I think the ethos of the company, you know, the, the, the ethos of the company is probably still still remains. And and that was the they had a really, really strong um, preference in the organization for self-serve uh, of actually self-serving your data and and everyone from, you know, whether you're a product manager or you're a sales analyst or you're a sales manager would be encouraged to to run their own data to the best of their abilities. And and there would be, you know, there would be tools, you know, from from from, you know, there'd be tools and controls from everyone being able to, you know, that, 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 that would protect that data from it. You know, some people would have access to product logs and some people had access to rolled up tables in a kind of self-serve UI type thing. But the, the, the effect of that meant that it, um, it, it, it democratized access for data across the organization. It meant that there wasn't necessarily silos, data sitting in silos, or, um, you know, people who were looking to try and, you know, or, or, or data being a kind of bottleneck in the process of making decisions in the organization, because the, you know, the, for, for the things that most people would need to do in their job, they'd have access to tools that would be able to give it to them uh, and would be expected to do that regardless of kind of what level you're at. Um, admittedly that there would be, you know, at a director level or a senior director or an MD level, they would have their own dashboards that would be built for them. But, you know, they, they, they wouldn't get a report email to them with numbers. They'd go on and they'd look at it and they'd, you know, they'd do that. But, and they, and they could be able to double click and go into things if, if they wanted to. Um, so that was, I think one of the learnings was when you, when you are able to to make sure that data is not siloed and, and data is not a you know we just oh we'll make a request to the analytics department and they come back it's actually being able to say that everyone is expected to regardless of their job be able to 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 get this stuff get their hands you know hand, get their hands on the stuff and actually use it um was it was a was sort of change the organization uh, and that also came with um transparency as well which was which was both from the product data, um, naturally there are controls on this around privacy and around GDPR and, and also around some of the data which is just is just very sensitive that Google handles. Um, but being able more broadly to within an organization be able to see the data that a particular team is 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 measuring, to be able to see their objectives against that information, to be able to see their you know their, their their KPIs to be able to see their OKRs as a team means that you're able to when you're interfacing with different teams you're able to go oh, okay I've I'm working with this person in search okay I know that I can look that person's up objectives up I can look at their team's objectives up I can understand how they're tracking against it and I can go to them and say hey like I need to land this project you are, you're working on the same thing in a different market. How about we work together and then we'll both help meet our objectives on it because you can see what they're working on and you can see how they're motivated and you see you can see what how how you know how the things they're responsible for what how they're performing but also how their you know their team is performing it's, it's kind of cool to see that transparency as, as well as being able to self serve and that also comes with last year i think an education um and and with education you, you shouldn't necessarily force You've got to realize that your different team members will have different skills and, and, and you know people that write marketing narratives are not going to be able to necessarily query sql uh, or, or or do regression models or anything like that but you know there's different people and, and but at the, and at the same time there's people that are going to want to go deeper than that but for people's level they should have appropriate access to to training that helps them build skills that help make their job more effective in you know up to the limit of their willingness to, to learn and their willingness to sort of take it in um was was one thing and and, and having a, a training curriculum and access to training that will take you know people everywhere everywhere for people who are very um 
you know who who are not you know who who whose jobs are are not super data heavy but they do need to you know they do need to look at data and they're more you know maybe more emotive people uh, to be able to understand the concepts of data right the way through to training for people that want to do you know PhD the PhD level stuff or like deep machine learning and all of that kind of those you know, really really deep concepts and being able to offer training across that spectrum I think is, is important yeah that's one of the biggest challenges as a data person I have right how can we democratize data for everybody of all skill levels and uh, you made a really good point on having transparency on the other team's objectives. I think that's really a great point on getting alignment. How can I, you know, how can I understand what the other team is doing so that I can align myself to their goals and then kind of work together? A hundred percent. And both the, 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 the products or the potentially areas of business that the team is responsible for and the team's metrics themselves is, is important to be able to do both because you can see sometimes how they how they relate as well and, and having that transparency uh, I think really helps people to work together and and helps people you know be aligned when they're working on these kind of multi-stakeholder uh, multi-departmental projects absolutely Again, I think it comes back to your earlier point on how can people work across uh, different teams and not work in silo and, you know, all the aspects of storytelling, less is more, having greater transparency, all of that plays into, into this.